G'day and welcome back to Fixing Stuff with Dave. Today I'm going to look at my espresso coffee machine again. I did do a video earlier on fixing the milk frother. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the top right hand corner. It's a DeLonghi model EN650.W. The W means that it's a white one. Uh, just disregard the W because it might be uh, black. I think they make them in black too. The issue I have today is it's leaking water into this tank behind here and the tray here. The drip tray is filling up and overflowing. And as you can see here, it's full of water. That's after making one coffee. So it's leaking pretty substantially. The drip reservoir there is pretty full as well. That's after one coffee. Might have been two coffees. I've removed the drip tray and we can see inside here where the drip tray normally sits. And if you look there, that what's highlighted there is the infuser. That's where the capsule sits. I've got an old capsule in there. I'll push the brew button and some water should come out. There it is there. Oh, it's coming out. Yeah, you can't even see it. There's <laughs> so much water leaking out, I couldn't see it. But initially I could see it came out from the little join there. Getting these apart is quite tricky. There's a little panel on the back here. It's got the descaler adapter in there. You take that off and there's two screws there. Now you can see these are two special screws. You can buy these adapters to fit. They're available almost anywhere. So just remove those two screws. I'm doing this on my kitchen bench because there'll be water going around everywhere. If I do it on my little workshop, it'll make a mess. So I'll just do it here. With the two screws out, just push down on here and it'll come away from the top and you can remove this panel. Then the side of the panel, you should be able to pull it out. I think you push it forward from memory. Yeah, so it just comes off like that. And same deal with the other side. Just pull it out of the back a bit, push it forward and it pops off. Now to get the top panel off, open the little lever here. Remove this uh, little rubber stop that's in here. And there's a screw inside. You'll need a number one Phillips to undo that screw. And this little cover should come off now. There's a little clip in there and I'd like to take this front off. Close the little lever down and you've got to get the back part of this uh, top case over that lever and then it'll come forward. In the back is a little plug. You can just gently pull that straight away, straight out, and it'll come undone. And this will just come off now. There it is. This component here is the infuser. You would normally open the lid. The capsule sits there. You clamp it down. Water's fed in the back and it's supposed to come out this spout. Well, it's not. It's leaking and it's coming out from the bottom here. So to remove it, there's two screws there. To access the two screws behind the infuser, there's two screws on the back of the coffee machine here. We undo those. And this back panel will just lift up and out of the way. And then just remove the two screws. I'll just carefully remove this hose to give me access. It should just pull off. This clear plastic tube here is the one that delivers the boiling water. So you take that little clip out and the tube will simply pull out like that. So now this should come out and I just comes backwards, I think. Yeah. All right, that's it. Now here's the new infuser and you get it all. It's got the lever and everything. It's missing the white decorative uh, center there. So I'm gonna change the levers over so that I retain that white center. So hopefully, let's take these clips off. I guess I can push that through there. Maybe it's got to be there. Yeah, there we go. There's the other one through. There's an axle through there, and there's a recess in the axle by the look of it. And that little plastic thing lets me push it out, I hope. Otherwise, it's going without the decorative white bit. Uh, now, this pin here, which I said had the plastic retainer, uh, I had to drive it out with a pin punch. So I took it out in my little workshop there and drove it out. Uh, this is the new infuser. I'll try and push that pin out without going out into my workshop. So I can do it in front of the camera, just put on a couple of books. It's coming out very easily, so no big deal. There we go. And once again, we we'll just take those little circ clips off. Whoops, it's gone on the floor. Oh, there's the other one. Take the pin out. 
And you just put the pins in. It's easier to do it in this position before you put that centre pivot back on. And just fit the little circuit clips back on. So I'll put the new pin back in and really just needs a gentle tap. Until it's about level on both sides. I've centered the pin and that little lock tab's gone into the slot there. This nozzle has to be transferred to the new part, so that should just clip off. Is that breaking? There it goes. One on both sides. I've got it off. It took a bit of work. Actually, it, it's a fine line between bending these enough to release and snapping them off. So I'll go and clean that up and I'll refit it to the new one. I've cleaned that up as much as I'm going to. And that just snaps on there. You must put this on before you fit the top cover. It might go on once the top cover's in position. Uh, now all you've got to do is put the two screws back in here. Uh, this back panel just hooks into a couple of hooks there. And then fit it down and put the two screws back. I'll put this pressure hose back in. Um, it has a little seal. This one's got a new one. I've just very carefully removed it. I don't want to damage or scratch it. I'll put it on here. I find it's easier to get in this way. If you try and get this brass thing into it, it's very hard to do. And then this little dolly pin will just go straight over the top like that. That's it. And don't forget to put your rubber hose back on. And that's it, we can test it. I fitted the plastic top on and I need to just plug that little plug it back into the electronics there. There it goes. I've powered the machine up, it's warm. I've put a capsule in and just close that down. This is powered up with mains voltage, so don't put your hand in the back there. And I'll just make a coffee. Now these will leak a certain amount. So there's nothing leaking out at all actually. I expected to get something. Oh, that's good. All right, I'll do another one. Now there was no there's no leakage there at all. I thought I'd get a little bit. Uh, it'll dump a bit of water when I let the capsule out. So I'll let the capsule go in there, you'll get some water then. There's a little bit. Well, there it is. Oh, it's not much at all. So that was all there is to it. You need to put this back on, the screw in there, um, put the sides back on. They just clip on the same way they came off. Slide that back panel on and the two screws, and that's it. It's finished. The old one was leaking around here. This is where the capsule sits, and this is movable so that it can compress on the capsule. And it has an O-ring in there, and there's the old one. I changed that last week, but it didn't fix it. So I don't know if these crack, I couldn't see anything wrong with it, but it was just cheaper to buy a new one. It was $60 delivered. Um, yeah, it was just easier to do that. I hope what I did help somebody. These are about 600 bucks to buy a new one of these, 60 bucks for the part. It really took about an hour to do. A couple of specialized tools, I suppose, but nothing you can't pick up in the shops. So if you have some success while doing this or you have some problems, um, leave a comment. I'm always happy to read the comments. I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And I hope you can join me next time for another Fixing Stuff with Dave.